During this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the plugin and get it set up so you can begin using it. So to get started, we're gonna head over to our plugins and go to add new. And from here, we are going to go to choose file and you are going to choose the zip file that you have downloaded. Once we have that selected, we are going to click on install now and let WordPress go ahead and install that plugin. And finally, we are going to activate that plugin. Now, once we have that activated, you'll notice down here on the left-hand side, we now have the WP Instapixel. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And the first thing that we need to do here is add our Facebook Pixel ID. So if we head over here to facebook.com slash ads slash manager, that's gonna bring you to your dashboard that you see here. Now to grab your Pixel ID, you simply wanna to go to the top left where it says ads manager. We're gonna click on that. That's gonna open this drop down menu. And from here, we're gonna to go to pixels. Now, if this is your first time setting up a pixel, you should have an option like this here that gives you a green button that says set up your pixel or something along those lines to set up your pixel for the very first time. Now, I already have a pixel. I'll go ahead and set up a brand new pixel here. And once you do that, you'll see a screen that looks something like this here showing the activity for your pixel. What I'm gonna do is copy this pixel ID that you see up here at the top left. We're gonna simply copy that we are then going to head back over here to the plugin. We're gonna paste that in there and then click on save. And once we do that, we can see that our settings have been saved. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over here to events. And from here, we're gonna click on add new. Now on this screen is where we can set up different events that take place on your website. So the first option here is our page. Then below that, we can choose which event to trigger when someone sees this page. So for example, inside of my pages, let's say that I have a thank you page that someone sees once they purchase my product. So I will choose thank you page number one, for example. Then for the events, you can see the different types of events that we can track. Maybe someone signed up to our squeeze page and they joined our list, that would be a new lead. Maybe someone purchased something, so forth. We're gonna say this is a purchase because if someone sees this thank you page, I know that they bought my product, okay? Now we can scroll down a little bit here and fill in some additional information that is related to this purchase. For example, the value, we're gonna say 97. If someone sees this thank you page, I know they pay $97 in order to see that. We also have some additional information that we can fill in and track if we wanted to. Once I have that inserted, I wanna click on add event. And just like that, we are now tracking that purchase event inside of my website. So if someone sees my sales page, they purchase my product for $97, they hit that thank you page, it's going to be automatically tracked and added back over here inside of my Facebook audiences. Feel free to come through here and add any types of events that you like. Maybe if they see this thank you page, I know they opted in for my squeeze page and that is a lead. So I select lead, if they have a value, they do not, it's a free lead, and then I click on add event. That way I am now tracking my leads inside of my Facebook audience as well. 